So here's the deal. Uh, Glenn Beck is with Cass Sunstein. Cass Sunstein says, ban conspiracy theories, and that's whatever he says it is. Okay? That's on record. All right, here's, here's Glenn Beck today, this morning. And, and I guess every day I can start having people monitor it. Yesterday I turned it on for five minutes and he was calling for new taxes to pay to the bankers. Uh, value added, excise, sales tax. He was batting these around saying we've got to have one of them and he had Kramer on with him. Well, I tune in today for five minutes and listen to this snake, the way he says 9-11 truth is in the White House and is going to kill Barack Obama. Listen to how he says it like a snake, though. Here it is. The most dangerous time in any regime, especially a radicalized regime, is when it is in collapse. Watch the uber left. Pray that Obama moves to the center. If he does, pray that the Secret Service care for that man. That that man is never left alone. He has invited 9-11 truthers into the White House and into his administration. If they believe that he's just another one of these guys, he is in danger. The Republic has good news today. Okay, folks. So there you have it. The Republic. You mean the empire, Glenn? And he goes on to say Obama wants an empire. No, America is an empire, and we pay for it. And it's immoral. And he's continuing the empire for Bush. And the insurance companies, not communist, wrote that takeover of health care. And the Democrats found that out two months ago, and that's the main reason it's in trouble. And that's the reason the people of Massachusetts went as liberals and voted out that Kennedy seat. That was the number one reason. I've got polls here where now 51% uh, of uh, Massachusetts call themselves independents. And that's the real realignment. They're not calling themselves Republicans. They're not calling themselves Democrats. They're done. We need to raise taxes to pay the bankers. We need to get the 9-11 truthers. They may kill Obama. 9-11 truth is nonviolent. 9-11 truth is the main group out there everywhere confronting Al Gore for lying about carbon dioxide. Every week I see a new confrontation of We Are Change or others. 9-11 truth started the Tea Parties. That's on record. They energized Ron Paul's campaign. They had the first Tea Parties. And Beck just came in and took it over and said it's now called the 912 movement, not the 911 truth movement. Do you see how sick that is? Remember that day after 911, how you felt. Yeah, you're ready to nuke countries, give up all your rights and freedoms, and blow out the budget for empire. I mean, it's all completely transparent what Glenn Beck is doing. And he is even more slimy than Bill O'Reilly. And I've just had it with him. They give you false choices. So they're giving you Glenn Beck or Barack Obama. And both of them are so bad, the left's going to support Obama because Beck's so bad. And the right's going to support Beck because Obama's so bad. And it's elementary. I mean, it's elementary that he was for the banker bailout, Glenn Beck. He said we need the Army to go against domestic enemies, Ron Paul supporters. Remember that? He said this last year, Ron Paul's a kook on his radio show. And, and, and most of us aren't even monitoring this. It must be hundreds of times worse. I mean, if I listen five minutes a day, just as a spot check, and, and, and it's always just petrifyingly evil mixed in with all this good stuff, and he wants to reinvoke nine twelve. The day after, your anger. He wants to reinvoke that lie. It is demonic. He is conjuring this. It is, he is a little devil, man. That guy is absolute Benedict Arnold, and I am forced to declare war on Glenn Beck. Here it is. The most dangerous time in any regime, especially a radicalized regime, is when it is in collapse. Watch the uber left. Pray that Obama moves to the center 
if he does, pray that the Secret Service care for that man. That that man is never left alone. He has invited 9-11 truthers into the White House and into his administration. If they believe that he's just another one of these guys, he is in danger. The All Republic right. That's has enough. good news. to. Yeah, a guy that uh, voted for the most socialist health care bill in the country is now the uh, member of the Senate from Massachusetts. Yeah, we, we have a lot to celebrate about today. Yeah, we do, actually. The people are hitting the panic button, you know, the most liberal state in the union, saying, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this. But it was rigged because the guy they had was one of them. Oh, he gives the big patriot speeches now. I think they've got articles here with his platform. Sounds like Glenn Beck. Sounds like Ron Paul. But... The voting record's there. So, yes, it's a good sign the public's waking up, but it's not a good sign that, look, it's like shark teeth. You get rid of one group and another one rolls forward. Again, you are not a general. You are not a patriot. You are somebody who's there to get our confidence, to sell us out, but you can't let your contempt and your hatred for patriots stay under bridle. You reveal yourself. It's like Sean Hannity saying arrest all uh, members of the militia. He just said arrest anyone in the militia. Arrest them. You know, put microchips on all children. Those are actual video clips. I mean, you guys are a bunch of government operatives that hate conservatives and libertarians, and you just want to slit our throats. You want to get our confidence and slit our throats. I see you, boy. I see you.